7.45 a.m. on Sunday morning, 27 women state lawmakers make up the bipartisan Women's Legislative Caucus. And this session, their bill package aims to help working mothers and survivors of human trafficking and domestic abuse. Earlier, I caught up with caucus's co-convener, Representative Linda Ichiyama, who shared some of the highlights. Well, thank you so much for joining us today and talking about this very important causes. Thank you so much for having me. So first, let's talk about the human trafficking bill that you are proposing. This seems very common sense, but it's taken a while. Yes, so this bill would establish a human trafficking program within the Department of the Attorney General. It would also require annual reporting on commercial sexual exploitation of children. We really don't have a centralized place for all of this data to come together in terms of what kind of children are being affected, what kind of services do they need, and are our policies effective? Can we look at trends? Can we look at patterns? So that's what the bill hopes to do. Yeah, and what's the challenges when you actually try to push something in the realm of human trafficking through? I think this bill has um, run into some challenges in the past because of resources, right? You need a team of people to collect this information, scrub it, make sure we're not uh, revealing any personal identifying information. And so I'm hoping that with the establishment of the new human trafficking unit in the Department of the Attorney General, we have the resources, we have the coordinator position, we just kind of need to give them a framework and a structure to follow. Mm -hmm. And another one that I was aware of, the child care accreditation program. You know, child care really um, raised a lot of awareness during the pandemic because a lot of the women in the workforce had to leave. And now we're having a shortage issue do you feel like this can help in terms of addressing that? Yes, absolutely. I was one of the moms who was staying home with my then two and three year old during the pandemic. And it's tough. I mean, child care workers, I give them so much credit. They do this day in, day out and deal with our youngest Kiki. So the bill that we introduced is to help providers become accredited, meaning that they'll meet national standards, make sure that our Kiki are in a safe place with high quality programs. We're also providing subsidies to providers to help them because it does take some time and investment to get accredited. We're also extending the deadline under preschool open doors. And for sure, you know, there are so many big issues and priorities for the Women's Legislative Caucus, and you had to narrow it down to this very few. Um, I guess looking forward to the ledge session, what are you hoping to accomplish for uh, women and children? Well, I think our package reflects a renewed focus on violence against women. That's another topic that really was brought to light during the pandemic. Everybody thought safer at home, but for some women and families, unfortunately, that just isn't true. So we have bills focusing on domestic violence and making sure that in child custody cases, our child custody evaluators are trained on the impacts of domestic violence. We also have a bill that looks at the statute of limitations for childhood sexual abuse. We know that so often it takes our young people a lot of time to recover from that trauma psychologically and be ready to come forward. So we want to make sure we give them that time so that they can seek justice. And that was Representative uh, Ichiyama. You can track the progress of those bills and more at capital.hawaii.gov. All right.